everybody this is Adam from developphp.com here and I was over at web intersect visiting and I saw that somebody wrote in his name's little orange he wrote in how to make remaining characters box like the one on this blab form on the home page so every time you enter character it changes from 250 remaining to whatever remaining so I wrote in I'll make a little tutorial for you SpongeBob SquarePants and he said thanks with a little smiley so you see when I open the blab form here and I'm typing in you see the remaining character count it lets me know how many away from zero I am. That way I know how many characters I can still type into the form. This maybe sometimes where you're limiting characters, you don't want any more than 250. See if I take that and I try to put in more than 250. See when it gets down to zero, it just won't take any more. No more than 250. All right, let's say this is your current page and form. Now yours would have a lot more information in it. Mine's just slimmed down for simplicity. But this is a form tag. This is a text area. Here's your HTML tags, body tags, and your head tags right there. And the first thing we have to do is give this text area an on key down listener and an on key up listener. So when a key goes down or up in this text area while somebody's typing or whatever, we're going to fire off some events. Now to be able to do that, we have to put an on key down event and on key up event. So I'm going to pop that in right here. So there you have on key down and on key up. Now within on key down, we're going to call a JavaScript function, which we haven't created yet. We're going to do that in just a second, and that's going to be up in the head tag. But we're going to call a JavaScript function there called text counter. It's going to be fed two parameters. The first parameter is going to be this.form.ta, which is this text area, you see? The second parameter is going to be this.form.countDisplay which we're going to create that little field in just a second. The count display is going to be that little tiny box that holds how many characters are left that they can type in remaining. Now you can see in the on key up event that we're doing the same exact thing. Targeting the text counter function in JavaScript saying this.form.ta is the first parameter and this.form.countDisplay is the second parameter exactly like the on key down event. Now here after the text area closes you can just put a line break or a break tag rather, however many as you need there. And you put another input field, which is going to be a read only. The type is text, the name is count display. Remember we're sending that name to the function. That way the JavaScript function knows what field to target to put the remaining characters count into as people type. You can make it any size and length you need. And its initial value, you want to make whatever your maximum is. Mine is 250. So in design view, you'll see something like that. There's your little box. There's your text area. Okay, let's change what this says to JavaScript enabled text area for limiting and counting characters because once we put the JavaScript function in, that's what it's going to do. So now at this point, all you have to do in your form is change your text area to have this on key down and on key up events. And then you just add this little text field display for the count display. Make sure it's read only. That way they can't type in it and fiddle with it. All right, now let's go into the head tag of the document on the web page. You go right into the head tag and you put in this script, which is JavaScript. It's not jQuery, just raw JavaScript. And it's not Java. I see some people on my site, they say Java when they mean JavaScript. So I just wanted to point out that Java and JavaScript are two totally different beasts. So the first thing we do inside of the script tag is we claim a variable called max amount and that's equal to a number 250 and you can make that whatever number you want you just have to change it here as well and the next thing within the script tags is a function and this function is called text counter and that's the one that fires off every time the on key down and on key up events execute and you can see each time that it fires off down here we're sending it two parameters remember the text area and this field here so both of those fields are known by the JavaScript function. So here we're sending it two parameters, and here we're sending it two parameters. Those two parameters are picked up right here in this function. And they, you can name them whatever you want. I just named it text field and show count field, so it made good sense. But this could be X, and this could be Y. You would just have to make sure in your function, everywhere is where it says text field, change that to an X as well. See what I'm saying? So they could be named whatever you want when you scoop them up here. So you scoop up the two parameters that the text area is sending right when the text counter function is being defined. So you can see the function opens here 
and it closes here with this little closing bracket. So inside the function, this happens. It's an if and else conditional statement. It helps you evaluate things. Okay, so this if statement is saying if the text field, which is the text area, if its value length is greater than our max amount, which is 250. So basically, you can access the properties of that text field by using the dot. So you're gathering the value dot length. So text field dot value dot length is going to give you a number basically that shows you how much, how many characters are in that field at that very moment. And if it's greater than the max amount, you execute this code. If it's not greater than 250, you execute this code. So the code that gets executed here, if the field length is greater than the max amount, declare the field, what property you want to manipulate, which is the value of that field, and you put this into it, which is textField.value.substring, and the two parameters that you're feeding to the substring function is zero and max amount. So basically what it does is just cuts everything off that's more than 250. Else, you put into the show count field the new value for what the max amount is minus the text field current value's length. So in my text field I might have 50 characters. So it's saying 250 minus 50 and that's the value that your little show count field, that little tiny box at the bottom, is going to get. Because they haven't reached their 250 limit yet, so you want to keep updating that little box until they get to 250. And that's it. It's very, very simple. And I checked it in Firefox, Internet Explorer, and Chrome. All the other browsers can... Okay, I hope that one proves helpful to you. Have fun putting it into your file.